it's just good to separate the vault that way. I don't, I don't, you don't need the million hours of nothing uh, than when Epic Remnant is just now, so. That's kind of funny, though, that the first story support is uh, Moriarty. Makes sense. Nice hand, by the way. I mean, if people really want me to play Ninja Guy, and I'm happy to play it, it's one of my favorite games ever in terms of mechanics. I talk about it all the time. But uh, there, I feel like I've missed like a million games that have come out. So I might just play kind of whatever, but we'll see. I do really like Ninja Guy Jump. Like, uh, I'm happy to play that game. But... It is a bit more effort to stream a console because Ninja Guy is not on PC for some fucking reason. Um, so it takes a bit more effort. And it's a pretty old and dead game, but... But yeah, if people want to see it, uh, I, might, I might hook that up. Because I, I, I would never cry to play that game again. It's been several years, so... I always... I, I will say this. I like not playing it for a long time. That way I'm a bit rusty, and you have to kind of... You know, I don't have all the movesets on the enemies memorized and everything, so, you know, it's kind of... It's nice and hard again. Uh, and then, like, there's ways to cheese that game, but I just don't do that, so... And we could mix it up, you know, we could maybe play some Ninja Gaiden and then also maybe play a new game on the side. Uh, we can make that work. Nah, I'm not gonna play Civilization, that's not my kind of game at all. Also, I think it's terrible for stream content. Unless you, like, you have to really carry, like, you have to have, like, a really, really good personality, uh, for that to work at all. That's basically what I did last time I streamed it, though. So that's, that's kind of why I was kind of hesitant to stream Ninja Gaiden again, because I kind of already did that. But I didn't have a VOD channel back then. It'd be nice if I could kind of just get my thoughts out about it. There are things to criticize about it, too, and I'll do that. Like, you know, there, it's, there are certain areas that it's excellent in, in terms of, like, gameplay. I think it's amazing in that department. But, like, you know, its story is trash. It's, uh, you know, its characterization is trash and things like that. Like, it's certainly not a perfect game by any means. And there are a few things in its game design that are, are whack, definitely. I just keep my eyes on and what new games come out. I'm really picky, but even if I hate a game, it can be fun to stream it and just, like, make fun of it as you go. Because I, 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 most new games just don't interest me at all. Like, just the way the game industry is, most video games are just, I don't care about them. But it can be kind of fun to check them out anyway, so... Yeah, you you don't you don't play you don't play Ninja Gaiden for the story. You really don't. But it's not even like a, a trash story that's fun. The only thing that's good about it is Doku. Like Doku's kind of interesting, especially because he's like you would really think he'd be the kind of minion that's gonna try to take all the power for himself and everything, because like he gets the big blade that everybody wants, it's like all uber powerful, right? But he happily gives it to his emperor instead, right? Like, so that's kind of neat, and then he's just got some, inter you know, interesting stuff, but he's like the only good thing about the entire story. Other than that, it's complete shite. They lost, what's up, man? It's like Goku, not Dooku. Spelled the same way, though. Oh uh, yeah, see, this is a, a big reason why I don't want to play this account is just because it's so, it's not, it's so unprepared, right? It's so unprepared, and it can get through content, but it's not really fun, right? Like, you want to have team build options and stuff. I need to just, like, take a week and catch this account up and level a few units and stuff. Like, get Medea, get my skill ranks up, get, finish Book. I'm so tired of Book being 1-1-1 without her, uh, NP upgrade. I need to fix that for God's sake, because we keep fighting assassins after assassins after assassins and we don't have book ready to go. Then, let's start the 
It's kind of funny that they make you use, well they don't make you use, but the story supports Moriarty and uh, they don't give you anything uh, class-wise that he's any good for. It's kind of sad. Queen. Let's go pierce some vulnerability. Epic of Remnant 1 does have some nice uh, bosses though. It has a lot of trash though. That's something I don't like about Epic of Remnant and it's a big part of why I'm not all that hyped to play it very often. I, except for Salem. I think Salem does a better job with this, but... Most of the Epic of Remnants are like a whole lot of nothing and then a bunch of bosses that are fun at the end. That's like overwhelmingly how Epic of Remnant is and uh, that, that's not great. Again, that's why Lost Belt 5 had such a good format because it was kind of like non-stop stages that were actually interesting. Uh, Salem's okay though, I think Salem had decent pacing because it had a lot less trash than normal. And like, uh, some of the early Lost Belts are like that, but they've kind of gotten away from that. I think, like, their, their recent story design has been very good. Uh, and I think they've kind of realized it's it's not really fun to just have a bunch of nothing and then it all backloaded where you're like, oh, hey, now you're at the end, now we have all the bosses and all this stuff worth the damn. Like, there's no point in making the story a bunch of filler stages that are basically, you know, free quests. It's like... Why? Like, what's what's? There's no you know, no reason for it, so they don't really do that anymore. Well, well, they haven't done it in a while. They might start doing it again. Who knows? For all we know, the the next main story might be you know, like fucking uh, Septum for God's sakes. I like Lost Belt 2's ending. Like again, the bosses all at the end are nice, but the beginning is a bit dull. And same for Lost Belt One. Uh, and I kind of from Lost Belt 3 is a bit better. I do I do think Lost Belt 3 is better like you, you They've got some okay bosses as it goes. It is still pretty backloaded, but I don't feel like it has as much filler bullshit in it um, The story's shit though, but uh, And then let's see Lost Belt 4 I think was pretty good I think Lost Belt again not as good as like Lost Belt 5, but like it was it was fine Like Lost Belt 4 was fine. It had a nice it had, it had some stuff in the middle It was still mostly backloaded though and then Lost Belt 5 1 was not so good. I it, it had some okay bosses, but it was mostly just fighting Cerberus over and over again. Like, Lost Belt 5-1 felt very rushed. Where they, they kind of just... They were trying to... They didn't have a lot of assets ready, and they kind of just tried to use what... Like, they tried to spread, you know, everything too thin, right? And so that... that but the story was good. I do like the story a lot of Lost Belt 5-1. That was actually really interesting. Um, all this stuff. Trying to figure out, like, what was going on with Canis and Wadim, and, like, who's loyal to who, and, and everything. Like, that, that was pretty... That was pretty engaging, and then some of the, the fights were good. Um, but then Lost Belt 5 2 just blew everything out of the water. Like, I was just. I, they, they, like, spoiled me. That was so much better than everything in terms of pacing and, and, like, you know, having a lot of bosses to fight and everything. It was just so much better than everything that I'm, like, completely spoiled. And, uh. That's, I remember when me and Cairo both beat it. We felt so. We both felt bad because, like, I just want more of that. I, I've never enjoyed this game more than then. Like, that was just. Every time I, w I was playing Lost Belt 5, like, you know, we were streaming it each day, and, like, that was just such a fun experience. And I'm happy to do it again, right? I'm happy to get Lost Belt 5 again. It's just that I don't really want to blow through all of these hard bosses in Lost Belt 3 and whatnot when I d when this account has so few units leveled. Like, I, I, if I really want to enjoy this account, I need to take a minute to, to kind of catch up a bit on some units so I can actually play with different stuff. And otherwise, you know, we don't really have any toys to play with, and that's you know, kind of defeating the purpose. How do I have zero stars? Did these stars drain me or did I do like an art chain? Like what the hell? Like, how, like I haven't really been paying attention to what I've been doing, but like how on earth do I have zero stars? Like that's very hard to accomplish. It can happen when you do art stuff though, or, or if you have star drain. But I wasn't paying attention. I mean, I, people keep saying Olympus was low in their scale. It really wasn't, though. It wasn't, like, crazy high, but, like, how to put this? It's, like, it was, it was, like, sixth or fifth or something. But there's so many singularities that's in the top half. Easily. 
Right? Like, dear God, there's so many singularities now. I, I should have brought Mozart. That, that, this team is, like, not going anywhere. Uh, it's, like, just sitting here. If, if I had had Mozart in the back, I could have really fixed that. I'm gonna have Chin Gong MP shortly. Da -da -da. You know what? Fuck it. We're having MP right now. Get this shit over with. I don't know why I just picked Geronimo's card and he's gonna die. I think it was like Shimosa was one of the top ones, Camelot and Babylon. I will say, I think that list was pretty biased though because the Babylon anime had just came out, so of course everyone's gonna be hyping Babylon. But uh, those have always been popular ones because their stories uh, were really good. Because it wasn't like they were asking people, what's your favorite singularity gameplay-wise? They were just asking, what's your favorite singularity? And some people are going to approach that from like a pure story standpoint, from a pure gameplay standpoint, from a mix of the two. Like, there, there's, you know, there's no criteria to it. And Camelot and Babylon have always kind of been fan favorites for story. And then obviously the anime had just come out, so I almost don't even count those ones. This team setup was so bad for this stage, it just took forever. It actually could have been okay if I just used my MPs better. The Masashi Wank wasn't that big of a deal though in my opinion because it's like, it's not like she killed Zeus and and, and everyone, like she just did one thing really, like she was kind of just helping you like you would expect her to because like Musashi or not, she's not, she shouldn't be weak, right? Like she, I mean, she's, you know, based on such a famous figure, she should not be weak. So she should be helping you throughout the story as she does, but it's not like, Musashi's not like MVP throughout the story at all. Like she only really helps you a lot at that one point, right? So, I mean, fair enough. Like, yeah, that was kind of her whole story build up to that moment, so that's fine. Like, yeah, they kind of wait Masashi a lot, but it, it didn't really detract from the story at all, in my opinion. Like, what else did you expect her to do? Like, I, I'm, I'm, I am kind of mixed about Masashi. I'm fine with reoccurring characters and continued story threads and all that, and that's kind of what she was, and that's fine. And I'm okay with those things, even if they're about characters I don't like. Like, I I'm not one of these people that acts like the only characters that should get screen time are the characters I like. That's fucking stupid. I don't mind a character, you know, having a an ongoing character arc throughout the story, even if it's a character I don't particularly care for too much. That's not a problem. That doesn't, that doesn't bother me, right? And I don't mind her character, honestly. It's not my favorite, but I don't mind her. She's kind of in the middle. I will say, you know, they do have a tendency to kind of overweight Masashi a little bit. But I, I really don't think Lost Belt 5 was really bad. I think it was, like, I, it was a little bit with, like, because Chaos is so powerful and everything, that it was kind of a little bit stupid. But, like, her doing something important and dying for it is fine. That's not really an issue for me. And, like, the amount of stream, like, I, if anything, I actually wish they did stuff like that more. I think they should have more reoccurring threads. Like, I, like, I think Mordred, they, they should have done that with. Not just because I like Mordred, just because there was such an obvious opportunity to do that. Right? So like, the, for some reason, they just kept reusing Mordred over and over again in these Lost Belts, but horribly. I, 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 I've said this before, I actually hate what they've done with Mordred, because they basically guaranteed I won't get any proper Mordred writing, right? Mordred is one of my favorite characters, so of course I'd be happy if she got like screen time and, and like character development and interesting story moments and stuff. And they've used her uh, over and over and over again, but she's never gotten any of that, right? And so it's, it sucks. Right, I really like the character, but she just every time she shows up, it's not in, it's not a continued story arc. It just you know it's just it's like episodic, and then she never does anything important. And normally she doesn't even get screen time. She's like window dressing, like it, it's just shit, right? It's, so it's like and what happens is because they use her all the time, people will not shut up about oh my god they just won't stop using Mordred. So I hope they don't use her in Lost Belt Six. That's all I ever hear, right? And which is ridiculous. So what they should have done is if they were going to use Mordred a million times, they should have actually, you know, planned ahead and, and had her have a reoccurring, you know, story going on. It's not, not just her uh, popping in out of existence, you know, in and out of existence for no reason. 
you, they could have made it a, a reoccurring thing, and like there's a reason she's showing up, and it should build up into Lost Belt Six, right? Because Lost Belt Six is going to be somewhat Camelot related. So they could have like, it, it, like I, I feel like it'd be really hard for them to actually truly, if they ever wanted to like have an Artoria versus Mordred again or something, it'd be really hard to build into that properly. Without just being like, oh, look, guys, it's Artorian and Mordred again. Remember, that's like a thing, guys, right? A really good way they could have built into that is if you have kind of, you know, Mordred having characterization throughout the different uh, singularities and maybe dropping little hints that there's going to be Artoria later, right? Instead of instead of fucking Lance or Artoria just being in London for no reason and having no dialogue and just being there and then dying and that's it, right? Instead of doing that... Right, you know, don't use that at all. Don't have Lance or Artoria there, period. But maybe kind of hint at it and, you know, kind of, you know, build up to the daddy issues. And then maybe you have a story where you work with Lance or Artoria or regular Artoria or whatever, and you don't work with Mordred, and you just kind of, you know, have some characterization on the Artoria side of things, right? And then, then you go back to working with Mordred, right? And you kind of go, you have a little bit of that kind of sprinkled throughout. And then for God's sakes, you know, don't have Mordred just like smile and wave in Lost Belt 3. And then literally Mordred is in Lost Belt 5, but she fucking dies off screen and she has no characterization, whatever. So I'm like, why is this even here? And because Lost Belt 5 leads right into Lost Belt 6, they could have done some really strong connections, right? Like, are you kidding me? Like, they hinted at Lost Belt 6 a lot in Lost Belt 5, right? Because Lost Belt 6 is literally attacking Lost Belt 5. That's, that's literally happening in the story, right? And like, Rongo Bongo gets fired at it and all this nonsense. So you could have had Mordred kind of have some stuff there. And then you literally have her, you know, her character finish off in Lost Belt 6, whatever you want to have happen there, right? That would have been fine. And you can, like, and Musashi's kind of having this kind of reoccurring stuff throughout the stories, and that's fine too. Having more of that is good, right? So you can have all the, uh, all the Da Vinci and, and, uh, and uh, Sherlock stuff kind of going, although I think they pace Sherlock's story terribly. Where they just keep going, oh, something's going on, oh, something's going on, oh, something's going on, but nothing ever happens. And at the very end, then a bunch is going to happen, right? That's terrible. They, they've done a horrible job with, with, with Sherlock's uh, story throughout this. They, they could have, you know, it's obviously reoccurring, but, like, they've done such a shitty job with it. But they could have done a good job with it. And that could be going on alongside the Mordred stuff and the Musashi stuff. And some other characters, if they can have some other reoccurring stuff, that's fine, too. Because I guess Canis was a reoccurring character. They could have done a slightly better job with that. Honestly, it could have been amazing, in my opinion. I think if they had kind of, you know, tied some of these, these stories together and had them play off each other, because it's easy to have... You know, Masashi, Sherlock, Mordred, Canis drama between each other. That's easy to, to do, right? So, like, they, they, I think they could have, uh, you know, they, they, they could have done some good stuff with all that. All right, it's, uh, it's the no time. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any divine servants to work with her, and that's, like, the whole point of using her is to buff off someone with divinity. I, Herc, there we go. Well, Herc DPS, let's go. NP1 life. All right, good enough. This team is a travesty, but uh, what do you want from me? Oh yeah, evil servants get more bond here. It's a shame that uh, Hercules is not evil. I cannot believe how poorly they used Lantoria Alter though. That was that was awful. And it's even more awful because Mordred was there. That is just ugh. But yeah, I, I'm story-wise, I must say I'm not very interested in the next main story because it's apparently a prologue, right? To a story we've already seen, which I'm just I cannot be bothered with. Oh, I didn't. Uh... Uh, by the way, this this Thino has soloed this boss before, um, but yeah, on a team, it's not going to quite be the same thing. But yeah, the the the, the next story, uh, the, the, I'm not too interested in. But gameplay-wise, I'm very interested in it because I want to see if they continue on 
the game design that we saw in Lost World 5 2, where it was like no stage is a filler stage. There, there was literally no stage that was nothing, right? Every stage had, was interesting and was more than just fighting a bunch of trash mobs. And so if they keep that going, I'm gonna be very happy. But I'm kind of worried they won't keep that going, because people definitely bitched about, uh... Should I do the stun first? Mm, nah, nah, that's fine. Because this is a shorter cooldown, so yeah, no, 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 it's better to do this one first. Yep, yeah, and it's, this is a famous thing, like so many veteran developers from across the industry, like no specific game genre, but this is such a thing. And inexperienced developers, and unfortunately DW is fairly inexperienced, uh, it's very hard for developers to actually know like how to, to take good feedback from bad feedback and to just understand demographics. A lot of times developers see like a lot of people tweeting something and they think that's representing the majority of the player base, and it does not. You have to understand vocal minorities and silent majorities, and then people that are upset are more likely to complain and blah 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 blah, then you have to, you know, stick to your own guns where it matters, and then know where it makes sense to change and, and stuff, and when you should listen to, to, to the players and stuff. That's a, it's not easy to do those things, right? You need you generally need a lot of experience and wisdom to really know like what's good feedback, what's bad feedback, you know, what's worth sticking to, what's not, when the players have a point, when they don't, when people are you know being ridiculous and unreasonable, and when they're, it's actually legit criticism, right? Being able to 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 pull these different things and put them in their own like you know camps, right? And know what's what is very difficult, and it takes a lot. Like I said, a lot of wisdom, and a lot of developers don't have that. That's, that's something, that's a very common thing you hear from, like, industry veterans where, like, so many developers really struggle, um, with that kind of stuff. Also, poor Lobo is barely getting any actions here. It's a tough time. Now, I can have Steno give a massive amount of bonus damage to Hercules here. Cause she'll give him the, the, the divinity up and then she can put the fence down on the enemy and all that kind of stuff. The only thing is I'm kind of feeling like I might want to wait to use her MP because I might want to use the buff removal somewhere. Like obviously we're, if we do that, we're robbing, we're robbing Herc of a lot of damage. But uh, I think it might be worth it. Although we might break if we did it. And then she could charm him and then he can't cast anything and stuff. Hmm. Well, 100 face didn't land the... Okay, fuck it. We'll do it. Because 100 face didn't land the art up. Things are kind of awkward here. It, it just sucks to to have an NP that removes enemies buffs. That's a quite nice and an impactful thing. And when you, you and on an enemy that has... Lobo has obnoxious as hell buffs. But uh, I'm casting when he doesn't have any of them, so... Um... Hmm. See, I'm doing Hercules first because he'll put defense down for Hundred Face. Shame Hundred Face didn't land her art up though. We could use the the oomph. Yeah, it probably won't be quite enough. Might have been with the art up though. Hard to say. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I think she'd be pushing it either way. Yeah, I don't. I don't think we would have gotten. We'd, we'd have been so close to getting it, though, though, that we could probably break this turn. Because, yeah, if she had had the art up, we might break this turn anyway. Oh, God, we did. Oh, okay. Well, Herc, her Jesus, that's right. Herc still has the attack up. Good God. Herc did, did a little bit of damage there. Um, I'm going to BRB real quick. I'm out of water, and that, that's, that's just uh, not okay.
All right, I'm back. I got a uh, banana. Feels good. All right. So he's got defense up now. That kind of sucks. I do want Sinnoh NP gain, so maybe this is a mistake. Ow. Wait. I should have put. I messed this up. <clears throat> I should have put Mash here so Steno could come back. Because we actually want Steno to come back. You know what? We're not going to Mash Taunt the NP. We're going to hope he hits either Herc or, uh, or Hans. Preferably Hans. That, that would be up to you. Hmm. Hopefully that's enough NP gain to get her NP. I would have really appreciated him landing the defense buff on 100 face because she might have been able to face tank the NP with it. Not 100 face, not 100 face, not 100 face. There you go! Good doggo! Hell yeah! And now we get, we get Thinno back. And all her skills are about to come off cooldown. That's some goddamn value right there. That goes on our side. And now we have like uh, no NP game for Sino, but you know what are you gonna do? By the way, 100 base is a really good unit. Pretty much every other budget assassin would be dead by now. Other than maybe Curse Arm. Even then though, like, she's generally tankier than he is. In one turn, we can give Herc the big attack up. We wait them. Do I cast Evade then to make sure he doesn't die? This is the last turn of Guts. The only way he would die is if his first action was attacking Herc, and then he either buffed or attacked someone else, and then attacked Herc again. It's very unlikely. I'll have faith. Wait, I shouldn't have had faith. There's no point. Why am I going for long-term value? Why am I going for long-term value? The boss has 100,000 health left. What am I doing? I, I'm pretty sure I could have just won that turn. Oh, oh, great. His first action was attacking her. Oh my god. I like how he did exactly what I described. Like, he, he just did it. I, I just... Well, I mean, Ku has divinity. God damn it. Bad dog. Bad Lobo. We had that. I should have just said keep or just done an evade.
Put all this damage up, though. I don't know if this is actually worth doing, but I mean, whatever. I can't. I just. He just. Again, if he had, if like if his first action was attacking Hundred Face and then he attacked Herc, he only has one action left and he has to target switch at least once, right? And then he can't attack Herc again, then Herc would live. So he had to do that exact thing. The buff could have either been buffing or attacking someone else, though. Like like that could have been either one, but. In that coupon, though. Yeah, I was I was not pleased with the RNG there, but it kind of evens out with that good luck with with uh, Hans. The good play though would have been to put Mash closer instead of Hans. And just had her taunt, and then like give her invulnerability to someone else to give them NP charge, and just let Mash die. That way, there's no RNG in it, and then Steno comes back. But I, I didn't realize we were even fighting Lobo there, so that wasn't exactly an optimized team. Fucking Kuz Bon CE. Chat. For, between now and whenever FGO ends, are they ever going to update Bon CEs? Yes or no? I'm gonna say no. Yep, that's uh, that's an overwhelming uh... Look at all this faith we have. Okay. I don't know what this is, but you know what? I'll, 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 we'll bust out the, the fun stuff. Yeah, well, you know what? We'll just go with Kane. It's fun. Just, I was gonna, like, slot some other stuff real quick, but, uh... We'll use Zaw's Canis. With his goddamn, uh... Look at, look at those stats, though! It's so close to 16k, 16k. Like, it's, like, right there. Like, it's like, oh, just... Just 18 more! Go for the big numbers. Chat, will we ever get a Canis C C? I would say the odds of that would be way more likely if they hadn't already made a million Buster CCs. We have so many Buster CCs. That's a lot of yes, though. They can always make an alternative to one that they have, right? Yeah, I can see it happening. Uh oh, got attacked down. Should have brought Atlas, feels bad. Three thousand health. That's unfortunate. I see you get an attack down like every turn here. That's uh a bit shitty. Yep, we really needed that big boy crit on the the three K guy. Like a decent attack down though. I'm guessing it's twenty percent maybe. They didn't kill. Uh, I should. I sh he uh, he is a lancer. Can she kill at this? I, mean, I literally want to do this. Just wait. She doesn't say the line unless I edit it. That's right. I gotta. I, I can't. I can't. Uh, you know, I really should try to. I need to get that sound file on its own. The sound file I have that has the uh, the voice line is combined with like a lot of other voice lines from her other versions and stuff. I need to have a sound clip that's just the line. That way I can like do live editing. That wouldn't even be hard to do, really. I don't really need the attack up, but I might as well use it. So I'll have it again next turn. Although, actually, it might have been better to not kill them all because I could have done, like, uh, you know, NP quick art or something. Yeah. <laughs> 
You know, she sounds a little angry. I, I don't know what's giving me that idea, though, but I, I, I feel like she might be slightly upset. Let's see, so there's one other enemy other than these guys. Dude, Hot Wheels has got such good voice lines, dude. I love them so much. I'm so salty to the- I, I, I could have gotten them so easily, but the RNG was not on my side, so... Nice damage, nerd. And we're not gonna really get a nice turn to show off big crits. None of the enemies were strong enough. These guys couldn't even leave a dent. Mostly just BM right there. So, I'm trying to figure out on my main account who the fuck has my Gilgamesh command code. There it is. Oh, let's try it. It's on Calamity Jane. Okay. Love the command code UI. Hey, Lord Zack. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub, man. Chat's nicer than I am. Took like 30 years for that to be a costume, by the way. It is amazing how much of a fan favorite that was and how long it took them to give a fuck to actually make it a costume. Like it was what, like two and a half years or something? Like just crazy. Like, they, they did one pixel of it a day. That was uh, that's why it took so long. That it is taking me so long to just switch around one command code. Holy crap. Yeah, we're five and a half years in and no uh, Hawaiian shirt coup. This is so overkill, but uh, I mean, come on. It's Aussie. Who doesn't like Aussie? I would really like to see when FGO finally gets around to doing 3.0, which will probably be in like 12 years at the rate they're going. But whenever they get around to doing that, I really hope they just overhaul their entire UI. Like, their UI is just trash. I mean, like, it's so old and clunky and slow and like... Like, it's, the command code thing is obviously the main problem. That's like by far the, the UI that's like unbearably bad. But just in general, there's just so many things that could be better with the UI. It'd be nice if they'd really, you know, spruce that up. And besides, that's a good way of making it feel new and fresh and whatnot, so... Yeah, I think these guys are gonna die. God damn it, we got George with casters. I actually think I should not kill any of these, because these guys are gonna struggle so much to kill my taunts, because they're so... weak. Yeah, if I killed one, I think they, uh, they might only have one action per turn. I'm not sure, though. I'm gonna not taunt because uh, they wouldn't kill George and then waste a taunt on the, the in-between screen. I'm pretty sure Buster Buster Art is more for him, but uh, it's not gonna matter. He's only got a one-hit buster, so... 
Probably still pretty comparable though. This is extra hits plenty. I should leave the highest level one alive, which is the back one. Because that guy will do the most damage to George. I really like that attack, it looks pretty cool. Also very accurate to what Ozzy can do. Honestly, his attacks actually represent his abilities pretty well. Yeah, you can definitely use some extra animations for sure. Still significantly better than day one people though. <laughs> it'd be cool if the I don't think if when they give him an animation update I don't think they're gonna bother to do this but it'd be cool if they made the extra attack show the sphinx like doing melee stuff because they can do that they can move around like they're they're stronger than an average servant so you could show it like you know claw claw bam bam and then at the the last hit is just the, the laser beam but it only hits one time instead of hitting many many times so that way you get it what it has now plus some other cool stuff all they really got to do with ozzy is make his character model look better and then like just make something like the effects look better because the the choreography on his attacks is completely accurate to what he does and is fine but then also replace his like repeat animation so instead of him doing the same animation over and over he does something else for like the double buster or for the double art right Well, we're wasting the battery, but this fight just isn't going to go on long enough for me to need it, so. Can I get a triple kill here? Fuck it, I'm going to try. I don't- we'd have to get that 60% would have to crit, and I'm not sure it would do that much damage. It might! Big crits, this might work. That guy is so dead. Come on, 60%. Damn it. That would have killed right there if it had... Oh, man! Oh, feels bad. We were so close. Because yeah, it had the crit up command code and everything, so it wouldn't even need the extra attack. <laughs> Almost AoE there. <laughs> Look at that refund though. Look at that. And see, then we could we get attacked, and we'd get it to 80% for being attacked, and then you could use his third skill and MP again. Very nice. You'll make the Sphinx CGI. You're you're correct. Yeah, there's no way you're wrong. There's literally no way you're wrong. Like they, they cannot be bothered anymore. They don't they don't draw anything. Like they they like it's crazy, dude. But yeah, you're probably right about that. That sucks, dude. Yeah, the game is beginning more and more CGI as it goes on, because even though they're making all this money, they, they can't actually put that into, you know, effort. Like those I can't believe those Nobus were CGI, dude. That would have been so easy to draw, because their attacks were so simple and stuff. Yeah, Ozzy was one of those units that was, you know, he came out swinging, so he hasn't really needed any buffs. Oh yeah, and you've got freaking Jolter, one of the most popular characters ever that does not have an animation update still. He's got the old big head syndrome and all that. Looking at my units here. Oh, I know, I know what, I know what we're doing. This is, I'm gonna regret this, but, uh... We'll 
one's for Kaibo. Everybody's got an MLB case scope, right? Rex, that's a really interesting mental image. Yep, they'll probably rush Shelter's animations, just like Scaths and stuff, and Lokitas. I think they feel like they've already made as much money off of her that they can really, and they'll probably make a bit more off of her, but not enough to really warrant like giving her the full five-star animation treatment, right? I need them to kill my taunts fast. The biggest RNG here is going to be the enemies actually doing enough damage. Yeah, I'm trying to think. They didn't, they didn't start getting body proportions pretty, like, down until, I want to say, like, Halloween. The, whatever Halloween event had, like, extra Vlad in it. They started getting better around then, I would say. Kind of around the Babylon time. Like, Camelot was, like, the in-between time. Camelot, where they were start... They still weren't quite right. You know, Gwen still looks a bit off and stuff like that. But they were... Like, Camelot's when they started to get better. And then, like, Babylon and so on is when they kind of got it. You know, like, Caster Gill still looks fine. Yeah, his attack animations aren't, like, the best, but his, like, sprite looks completely fine. We're not going to be able to loop her in, The RNG was not on our side here. Which means the K-scope was wasted. Well, no, uh, it's like impossible for us to get good damage out of him now. There's like no way. We will get damage, but we're not gonna get anything too great. You gotta get that first double NP fast, because it lets the NPs keep rolling. Because you have double star rate up and, and all that. Could y'all like attack George at all? This is where I wish I had Summer Scath at level 1. I like how that guy just debuffed three times. Like, the last three actions from the AI has been uh, all debuffed. Guys, uh, George's Stargen is really, uh, debuffed, guys. They, they got him. Well, Baldi's gonna lose. Unless we get really lucky, uh, Baldi is, is, uh, is going to lose. When you bring MLBK scope and you can't get anything out of it. Yep, that's uh, about what I expected out of him. What's funny is he's not even close. Like, he's not even close. If I get lucky, we might be able to win. If they don't kill me this turn, and I can somehow kill this guy, and then just... Do like the bus drop and defend... Uh, oh, I'll just have no, no defense now. Above the bus drop, maybe we can win next turn. I don't think we're gonna kill this thing, though. Yeah. Well, they didn't kill us this turn, though. Fuck, we'd already used guts. God damn it. So 
RNG, please. Oh my god. Well, no, well, yep, okay. Would you guys care to triple buff? No? That wasn't even, like, that wasn't even remotely close. <laughs> like, we, we needed, like, three or four more turns. We had bad luck, though. Like, because if things go well and you get that double MP rolling, you can just keep huge damage going for a while, but it's really hard to... That, that's why you bring K-Scope, though, because it lets, if you get lucky, you can get it right off the bat. He's not level 70, though. I literally don't have a level 70 Q I can use. I, I don't have a 10, 10, 10 level 70 Q on any account. He's either he's either like grailed or uh, he's like because like on my ult account with Proto Q, my Q on that account is 100 10 10 10, right? Uh, and then on my main account, uh, he's 100 10 10 10, and I have a second one that is 70, but he's like 686 or something because I don't want to give him hero proofs. Um, <laughs> And then on this account, he's Grail. So I literally don't... Do, do you have one, Rex? Do you have it? Like, do, do you have the old-fashioned... Like, this one's close. Because it's, uh... You know, it's just 80. It's not that different. So because K-Scope went so badly there, though, we should've just not brought it at all. Like, a lot of times that is the way to go, but it, because it didn't work, it, it would've been better off with almost any other CE for Baldi there. Like, sometimes that, that results in greatness, but it just... It didn't, uh, it didn't work out there. Yeah, th this account, Green 2, it, it has a regular coup, but he's 110 to 10 as well, so. Let's try Baldi one more time with a more, like, typical CE. And try to play him in a more straightforward way, and maybe we get better luck. Hold well, on, fixing CEs. Okay. Is there anything else I can use? I can use Chen Gong. Tartan is only one turn though. Uh, do I have the knight? Yeah, let's try that. Maybe we I almost want to slap Black Grail on George, God. Wally needs a battery skill. I, I, you, you don't understand how much of a difference it is if you get two buffs going. If you get his NP twice within a, a short period of time, it, it becomes easy to maintain two NPs, because at that point your star gen is so high, you're critting all the time, and then you can maintain it, like, easily. But you gotta get that first double NP off to get the ball rolling, and it's very inconsistent to do that. And, uh, a battery would make it a hell of a lot more consistent. I should've done George, uh, I should've done Leonidas first. Just have it. Normally you do George first, because he's got the higher star absorb. They actually triple attacked him though. That's good. Leonidas with the damage. Even though uh, I, I don't know if we normally I'd say you win P here because you got quick art. But Leonidas doesn't have MP charge on death, so I don't think it's worth it. Although it would give no, no, uh, I'm, I'm gonna save it. So I, I, I just I don't have any faith that we we're gonna get a, like a crit or anything. I could try to target switch here, but it's probably not worth it. Save the lower health one, because I can get overkill, and overkill means better NP gains, that's actually good. So I need to make stars, and I basically just have to crit next turn. We need to get like an art crit next turn. Now, 
Okay, just for the love of God, crit you bastard. And we want to crit with those quick cards because we need more stars. Yes! There we go! The RNG is more on our side this time. Eighty ninety, or I could make the stars and guarantee. I think we want the next turn to be guaranteed stars, so we do quick, quick. I mean, eighty ninety is not so bad, right? We're gonna have double crit buff, double attack buff. The problem with him. Is oh my God! He would have killed. He would have killed. Or well, actually, he may not have killed still, but we would have. Oh God, damn it, Baldy! The problem with Baldy, um, even on a team, is if you use all those OP supports, yeah, it doesn't actually get more value out of them than anyone else does. That's like the mistake people make. Like, yeah, you can make it more consistent with really OP supports, but you're not actually getting enough boom for your buck at that point. Still, I'm so mad that we he did not fucking kill that. I think we... <sighs> he needs to kill here and get his MP, but okay, the MP's not happening. Don't crit, don't crit, don't crit, don't crit. I could have impeded again, we, we would have had a shot, but uh, I don't, don't think this is going to be enough. No! We're not going to kill it! I think we can kill it- well, we're going to lose our buffs, but we can get our buffs back. This is going to be close. Oh! Always lucky, though. Look at this crit spread! There's that, that, I think this will do it. I'll put it in slow-mo so we can reset. I wish that had crit, the, the buster there, but uh, this, this should work. Come on. Oh god. Oh god, oh god. We have a tag up though that helps extra attack. Yeah! Oh my god, that was so close. I don't think we can- I, I, I'll use Q, but I don't think we can do a proper Q comparison because nobody has uh, an even Q with what I, what I just did with Baldi. Because that was a level 100 golden sumo. Y you don't Rex though. Like you, you, you got, you got, you got Q you know, 70, 10, 10, 10, but you, there's no way you have a CE that's on par with what we just did. Because not only is, is golden sumo good, but it's level 100. It's giving us like 3,000 attack or some shit. That was the wrong button. Dude, my, my sumo is, is is strong. But like, that, that, I'm telling you, that was a huge part of why that run worked. We barely won. It, it, what, I, I don't know what CE Rex put on, but I guarantee you, whatever CE Rex has on Ku, Baldi would have lost with it. There's no way Rex has something that's like even close to on par with that. Especially for that context. There's certain contexts where gold, like on a team setting, where, you know, where like, uh, Drunken Jolter's almost just as good, or, or Aerial Drive is almost just as good, uh, the fuck? Alright, it's, it's fucking UI. 
Rex doesn't even have Golden Sumo. What a scrub! I mean, you know, how unfortunate. You see, that's not- it's good, but, uh, that's not- let's see what the level is. Am I- am I gonna be impressed here? God damn it, why do they have to make it so awkward to go to that menu? Oh, uh, you know, okay, I mean, that's- that's respectable. That- that's- uh, you know, it's- it's no level 100, but that's, you know... I- I gotta tell you, though, I- I- I'm gonna take this moment to talk about something about Koo. Um... So for a lot of units, this CE on a quick unit is very comparable to Golden Sumo, but it is not on Koo. It, it's actually not even close, because Koo does not spam quick cards. Like, he doesn't. He, he does a lot of Buster Art Buster. He'll do like Quick Quick Quick, and then Buster Art Buster, and then Buster Quick Art. Like, they're- they're- for- they're- On average, Koo's best CE is 100% Golden Sumo. And actually, same for Baldi, too, because- well, not-, not Golden Sumo is not Baldi's best C. It's, it is good for him, but he does like best with things like it depends. But a lot of times his best is like K scope or uh, what? What's the one? Uh, trick or treatment? Uh, stuff like that can be really good on Baldi because it lets him loop better. But uh, yeah, this I mean th th this is way worse than uh, than what Baldi had. But it's still good. It's it's better than I thought. I I, I was expecting like level thirty uh, on the CE or something like that. We should do proto coup. It's really hard to find a 70, 10 and 10 proto coup though. Those are not uh, common. There's actually loads of good replacements for, for Golden Sumo, and for a lot of units, Golden Sumo is not even their best. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, Art of Death is good. It just depends on the context. It's all very context specific. The one Rex has on is decent. It's, it's noticeably not as good though, because. Uh, like, your normal- I'm telling you, your normal card damage will be so much higher with Golden Sumo on Koo, because you're gonna be- okay, that's just stupid. Uh, you're- you're gonna be doing, um, you know, a lot of, like, you know, Buster, Quick Buster, and crap like that kind of turns. Where this CE does nothing. It doesn't- it doesn't benefit those turns at all. Like, it, it doesn't do anything. And, and- and extra attack. Like, I'm telling you, Golden Sumo, on units that change their card types a lot, Golden Sumo is just in a solo. Because here's the thing, in a team play, the difference is pretty minor. And sometimes Golden Sumo is actually worse in team play. Because in team play, you're not doing Brave Chains all the time, right? You're, and, and a lot of times you're mostly using for them for their NP and that kind of thing. And so in team play, as long as you have like NP up or card type up to match your NP, you're, you're in starting NP, it's good enough, right? And it's not that big of a difference. In it's solos where or Golden Sumo is just like uh, very noticeable because it applies to the extra attack and every color, card color every time. Um, but then also you do have units though that will, will often do like art, art, art. And then a lot of times they're better off with something that it do is, does give art up instead of attack up. Because some units just have decks like that. Like, I, I think for Canis, I think Golden Sumo is definitely better for her too, because she mixes up her card type as well. She doesn't mix it up quite as much as uh, as some of the other units out there, but she still mixes it up uh, a good amount. For her MP turn though, Aerial Drive is actually better than Golden Sumo. George, please die. That sounds bad. No! George is gonna live for quite a while too. Please crit. Like, that's like the one way they can run this back, is if they crit him. Oh my god. Crit, you bastards! 
So if they had debuffed one less time, it, it, it would have been fine. But, uh, you know, they couldn't be bothered. See, uh, <sighs> it's so frustrating. It's, it's 128 health. Just, just attack George. That's all you gotta do. Just hit George. Uh-huh. Like, we, it's just bullshit, because Bali just got lucky, and this didn't happen. And, like, now we're gonna be way behind because of this. Because we're going into the boss turn, and he's still not dead. Yeah, but Baldi got so wrecked the first time, we don't even talk about that. Like, because Baldi just could not get in P-Gain the first time. That, that was like the deck just not working out. That was a whole different problem. That run didn't- that didn't happen. We don't- we don't talk about that. Oh my god. Like, I need to be able to do quick quick here, but I can't because George is still alive. And he might still be alive next turn. That's the, uh, the really annoying part. And if we get really unlucky, he might be alive the turn after that, too. George, you, you gotta do me a solid here. Just wave at him. Give, give him that, that five-star smile. Oh, yeah. Uh, Koo can do that too. That's uh, that's not really fair. That, that's not. That's not even fair. Kill George. Okay, there we go. We we kind of have to do this again. That 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 that's that's not that's not even fair. Like that that that's that's that's, that's not that's not fair. It's funny, but it's not fair. I-I-I-I-it's I, 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 pretty obvious that Ku has got this in spades, though, because it's not like we're even close to losing. We're, we're, we're not even remotely close to losing, because we have protection from arrows back and then guts, and then we'll have protection from arrows again, because we've got Atlas, right, and then we have invulnerability, and then we'll have protection from arrows again, again. Like, we have so many turns left. We, got, we gotta do this again, though. That was... We have to not insta-death. And this is with the worst CE. I really wish we just had Golden Sumo, because then it's like the exact same thing. I guess to be fair, though, Golden Sumo, although good on Baldi, is not his best. It really is not. So... It can be if you get lucky, I guess, but... You, you, the NP gain is... A lot more consistent with other CEs. I would do team stuff and show them both in a team setting, because Ku's better there too, but the thing is we don't actually have story replay, so I can't do that. Like I'd go fight like the Lost Belt 4 tree, you know, make a team for both, right? And Ku is still way better, but uh, I, 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 there's, there's no story replay, so I don't, I don't get to do that. We could maybe we do it for uh, for Lobo the Avenger fight with Lobo. Maybe we try to make that work. We do like well the thing I can't I can do a budgety setup, but I, I couldn't do. There's no way to make Baldi like like I, I can't make Baldi the MVP because this account doesn't have uh, you know it doesn't have Scatty, doesn't have Waver, it doesn't it doesn't have any of those units you would use to make either of them like you know super strong. Uh, although I can I can replay that fight actually on my alt account. But it doesn't have Scatty, and you really want Scatty for uh, Baldi. It has Waver though, but it, but yeah, no Scatty. Might do that. That might be kind of fun to show them off there. Okay, I'll do freaking Leonidas first this time. Maybe I should give George the knight instead of Leonidas. Yeah, 
No! Why did he just go ahead hit him with the pipe? If this guy doesn't crit, we're doomed. We're doomed. I shouldn't have killed the one guy. Crit, even if he crits, he's not gonna kill him. I I can't save I can't spare this guy's life. I I, I can't. It won't let me. I don't think there's anything I can do here to, to, to not kill this guy. The least damage I can do is 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 uh, art quick quick. That's as low as it gets. Please don't crit. I should have put the 30 in the middle. Oh shit! No! I I I I held your hand! So much, you stupid! Uh, at least he's COVID ready. I, I guess I'll give him that. But uh, uh, you know, other than that, God, well, yeah. There's no way he's living now. There's, there's no way. George is just too strong. Do I use Atlas on George? If his taunt was two turns off, I probably would, but uh, I don't, it's probably more than that. And that, that really is so much value lost if you do that on George. Oh shit, though, it is two turns off. I, I'm just gonna hope that they kill him. Like, just, just... Like, obviously they can hit him and ping off the extra marrows, which sucks, but I mean... Whatever. The, the bad part is, it's not even George being here, that obviously is bad, but it's the fact that I don't have access to my deck. Like, you really want to quick, quick, quick here. I give up. I, I give up. I, 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 I give up. Yep. Yep. That is uh, pretty much what I thought was going to happen. Like, we're winning so hard because of the insta death. I mean, I'm quite sure we'd win anyway, but I can't. Sh I, you can't even show off anything when, when you insta death like that. Like, what, what am I supposed to do? Uh, you don't even get to see the in the numbers. You know, we're, we're not. We don't get to even see the damage numbers because it it it, it doesn't work that way. And like now we don't have the attack buff anymore because of George. Like you know, it's, it's you know, nice little you know attack up, make you hit harder, you know, or NP damage. I'm I'm gonna wait one turn to kill this guy just so I can like try to get the buff just just for pride's sake. I'm gonna cast guts when I already have guts because it's not gonna matter. <laughs> Yeah, no effect. Please don't insta death it again. Yeah, he would have won this really easy. He he would he would have won this really easy. That, that's plenty of damage. Like that's not a problem at all. That was so dumb. That was like impossible to test anything there. I've already tested them against each other a lot, like a lot, a lot. Like I'm already well aware that Ku is my. It's not like it's not even close. Like he is so far ahead. Like it's it's not even funny. 
Like in both team and solo, he is way... I think people act like he's not ahead in, in, in team, but he's way ahead in team. Because you don't have to babysit him like crazy, and if you're using like double Scatty, Ku hits like a fucking truck and can in double MP as well. Like, he's, he's just way better in both contexts. And for some reason, they gave Ku a higher attack stat than all the other Lancers. I don't know why they did that, but they did. Oh, Proto Coup. Now, see, Baldi's pretty on par with Proto Coup. Like, they're they're pretty similar. I, I think Proto Coup's actually better, but he he's a he's in he's in striking distance of that one. Because honestly, Baldi's not even in striking distance of Coup. Like, he can't even see him. He's so far away. But like, Proto Coup is not like so much better than him that it's completely unreasonable. Uh, unless the enemy's a beast, then the difference is pretty massive. But uh... We don't have a proto coup we can use though. We've only got uh, a grailed one, which I, can, I I'm gonna use him just because I want to use him because proto coup's awesome. Also, can you please have an animation update? Like, can you imagine like on this account, on this account, summoning Baldi and trying to make that work against the Avenger Lobo? Where I could do that with coup. I could absolutely do that. I could summon somebody's coup, and I could even with the shit that this account has, you could make that work. Because he has guts to deal with the insta death, he has sure hit to deal with Lobo's nonsense, uh, cause he gets the evade every turn, right? Like there's a lot in Ku's favor there. Let me go to my ult so I can summon Proto Ku. I, I, now this I've never tested, but I actually think Ku is probably better than Proto Ku for the Avenger fight. Even though Proto Ku gets the beast damage. I think it's close though. I think if they have beast damage, Proto Ku is pretty comparable. But Ku's attack up puts him very, you know, still close on damage and then just so much more survivable. And Proto Ku doesn't have guts, so he's a lot, you know, if he gets insta death, that's that. By the way, this song is for every Lancer that's a 1 to 3 star that's not Ku. Feels bad. <laughs> if Ku gets his 50% damage bonus, uh, he might hit harder than Proto Ku against a beast. I think he'd still do slightly less. Because Ku has the higher attack stat, Ku has the upgraded MP, and then he gets a 50% attack bonus. But that's not as much as, as Proto Ku. So I think Proto Ku would still slightly win. Unfortunately, Rex, I can't do math. So I don't know how to add 3 hours to the time, so I don't know how long I've been streaming. Rex, that sounds like propaganda. <laughs> I have a weird time to use this, but uh... Buster Chain. Also, I don't have command codes on Proto Coup, feels bad. I have a few, but most of them aren't on them right now. Nothing crit, feels bad. Let me give him let me give him command codes. This is gonna be tough for him, but he might be able to do it. Dude, the command code UI, it would like the whole confirmation message thing really is dumb and that hurts it a lot. But all they really need to do is let you switch from one servant to another. Then it wouldn't really take that long to just like switch around a few key things. Where it's like trying to hunt down every fucking command code, it's, it's just, it's ridiculous. I'm not even gonna give him the best command codes that he can have, I'm just gonna give him ones that are good enough, because, uh... 
I don't want to hunt down every godforsaken command code. Like, I should give him the Gilgamesh one, but I'm not going to because I, uh... I don't want to click a million buttons. Okay, that is good enough. I'm actually gonna restart now because, uh... We had bad luck and we don't have command codes, so... That ain't gonna happen. Chat, look at this noob Hanako green guy. Fucking... Look, look at this, it's 92! Oh, look at that! It doesn't even have his, the fucking golden sumo at 100. Like, like, like regular green one does. What a scrub, man. Not even on par with my main account's coup. Oh yeah, we can probably afford to not have the night now. I like this Bastion music, though. Where the hell is my other, uh, I know I've got another one. Yeah, my ult account has been leveling, like, a lot of things up to, like, 60 and 70 and stuff, and it hasn't really leveled anything to 100. I should work on sumo though and get that to 100 because it's so close. I mean, it's like you might as well. This song is called "In Case of Trouble" from the Bastion soundtrack. He's good. Why didn't I taunt with George first? Because of the. St what am I doing? I'm thinking the other fight where George won't die in one hit, but he will here, so I should have killed George first. Autopilot is a bad thing. Because we'd probably be 100 100 if that was Leonidas. I love how the 70% didn't crit, that's great. It's my own incompetence on that one though. Although it still was a 70% chance to work out. Rage, rage, rage. Mubot, no. Rage's pretty good. She's really good for farming because she has a 50% battery. So she's an excellent farming unit, and then she's pretty good for challenge quests too, because she just has a lot of AoE damage, and she's pretty self-reliant for getting her damage out and stuff, so yeah, she's a pretty good AoE rider. She's not so good of an AoE rider that she can work as a single target unit, but she's close. Like, if you have to use her in a single target situation, it's not the end of the world. Hey, that was 30, 70, 90, and none of it crit. I, I mean, what do you say about that? Like, I, like we had our crit buff. Like, game, please. Yeah, now you crit when you don't have the crit buff, and he had his defense up. Yeah, that, that'll help. Feels bad, man. Please don't insta death me, Mr. Lobo. Also, please do 39k damage. Fuck! Fuck! 
Fuck! Fuck! Why does every time I play this game, some moron has to say, but they have a sure hit in P? Like, I haven't been playing this game for 80 years, and I've got invulnerability. Like, I don't under- well, every time! Like, every time! Like, I don't understand! Like, I fought this boss and a million other bosses that have sure hit NPs, and every goddamn time, someone's gotta say it! Hi, Arjuna, how are you doing? Okay. So the problem there, it wasn't even the lack of crits, although that was a problem because we obviously would have broken if we uh, had crit, but it was just the fact that we didn't break at 1k. Like, I, I can't hold my MP that long. I can't believe we failed the crit. All we needed was one crit on that turn, and we would have broken no problem, right? And we had a 30% chance, a 70% chance, and a 90% chance. Like, what is the math on that? Like, what was the odds of getting one crit? Like. It had to be like, like, I mean, it, you know, it's like 95 or something? Like, it's crazy high. Okay, this time, we're gonna have George do this. Un unfortunately, we can't do a quick chain this time, so it doesn't really matter, but still. A lot of fire in the background there. Mmm, I don't think it's worth it to use my Star Absorb this turn. I mean, if those crit though, they make more stars. They're not gonna have that good of a crit chance though. Yeah, I'll save it. Okay. I think we're not gonna get our NP actually. It's gonna be close. Yep, we're gonna be like too short. That sucks because we never got our command code or anything. Oh yeah, he doesn't have an MLB uh, Kim Lawn. That's bad. Uh, that puts us a turn behind. Which is really hard for us to afford that right now. I might actually have enough Kim Lawns to limit break that. I'm not sure. Close. Should have done my uh, busters in reverse order there. That was a mistake. Will you stop doing that? I guess I do. I guess I don't quick chain then. It's not worth it. It's better to remove the defense buff. Now imagine that NP right there. But I have- a, he has a buffed MP, instead of it, you know, being a non-buffed one. Because then you'd have the beast damage and the, the higher MP thing. That, that- that would be nice. Does this remove both of his defense buffs? Because that'd be pretty awesome. Nope, just one. Damn. Probably should have uh, gone for a P gain then. Oh no, I got it anyway. Okay. We're kind of in the same boat as last time though. Like we could have easily broken by now. We do my anti beast damage and definitely kill him here, but I think I need to save it. We have our defense down. Okay, plenty of wiggle room on that. No insta death! Come on, don't do it! Whew, okay. Almost 200% on our NP. I think he's got this. Just had to fight a boss with his goddamn sheesh. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, he's got this. Dude, that would do so much damage if he had an upgraded MP. And then if it was like a Berserker or something, or you know, an Archer. 
Uh, you would just shred them. Alright, we won. We still have Evade. Our Evade's coming back. We still have our anti-beast damage. We actually kill him this turn. We got the command code. Alright, let's let's use regular Ku. This is a really good boss to test that because uh, it's neutral and it's a beast, right? So it, it theoretically favors uh, Proto Ku quite a bit. Just to be fair to Ku, we'll give him the same uh, command code uh, for the removal of defense buff thingy. Yeah, I'll try to give him pretty much the same command codes, just to be fair here. Though I can't find some of them because, you know, this game... Hey, at least Proto-Ku won, right? And he actually had a bit of, good bit of wiggle room. Because he had, had a good bit of survivability left there. And Lobo wasn't going to NP anytime soon. Obviously the next NP would have killed us, but... Uh, he wouldn't be able to do that uh, for a good while. Chat, I, I wish so badly that Calamity Chain, Jane had had a better costume and all that. Because her gameplay is really fun. So I was like, you know, that'd be a fun unit to like grail the 90, right? It just takes two grails. But I'm like, but... She's dressed like a clown. Like, it's, 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 it's bullshit. Like, why couldn't she just have, like... I, I don't even care if it's fan service Why couldn't it just be more normal? Like, why can't she just have, like, a cowboy hat and, like, normal colors and a regular gun? Like, is that really asking for too much? Like, shit. And no one even, like, she's so unpopular as she is. It's not like the design was a hit. It was like super unpopular. So I, I forgot to unequip one of the command codes and now I have to go around the wheel again. I have to go I have to go back out of the menu and go back to the other unit and then you know go through the 30 clicks to, to remove it and then, then go back and put it on Ku because I, I forgot one thing. God damn it game. Also I don't know who has the defense removal command code equipped so I uh... Who the- who has that? What the fuck? Angra's NP does not take a tick from Protect from Arrows. It's counted as true damage. It's like a dot. It's- it's like, uh, it's like Robin Hood's poison. It operates the exact same way. It's like in between turns and it's true damage. And it doesn't count as actually being attacked. It's basically a skill that's activating. It's the best way to look at it. I literally can't find who has that command code equipped. Oh, it's it's Mordred. Okay. I don't know why I didn't check her. Okay. That took... Quite a while. Now look at this. Look, look, look at look at this proper CE right here. Look, look, look at that. Look, look, look at those stats. Gives you 2,000 attack and then 15% more. It is so good. Also, uh, both Ku and Proto Ku are 2k foed, so that's nice. Ku is slightly advantaged here, though, because he's got the, um... He's got the command code boost. Oh, command card! Command card boosts. Or Proto Ku doesn't. Like, I'm giving them to Gwen on that account. But that's a pretty minor difference. But it is a thing. Okay. That is a terrible opening hand, but uh, I have a feeling Ku can weather that. At least it's the one that had the better command code on it. That's that's kind of nice. And that's this is some good music for Lobo right here. I can get behind this.
Best fucking boss in Kirby history, by the way. Alright. We obviously don't have Ku's max attack buff, but we'll, we'll see kind of like where it's at in comparison here. So obviously we could get another like 30% attack buff on this, but uh... Yeah, that's bullshit. That is so... like even with the, the extra attack, I think it'd be slightly lower than Proto Ku's, but it's so close. But like it's so close, and it shouldn't be, because we're fighting a beast. Because you know all the other times that you're not fighting a beast. Seventy, seventy, seventy. Two's uh, pretty much the average there, so. Yeah, but when he gets attacked at 50%, I think it'd still be lower than Proto Kuz, but it'd be it'd be really damn close. I'm gonna heal here just because it'd be really bad if I died this turn. I should have cast that actually a while ago. I could have cast it on like turn three. So the cooldown would be shorter. I was being kinda greedy trying to min-max the attack up though. I should have swapped those Buster cards around. They, even though the crit better, the other cards boosted more and the command code's better and blah 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 blah, so I should have done that the way around. Is it worth it to NP to make sure I break here? It's a quite a bit of overkill. I'll do it though. I am not confident that was actually the right decision though, it's hard to say. I might have been able to do quick 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 as well, even with his defense buff. Yeah, maybe. That was, that was a lot of overkill. <laughs> the entirety of the extra and quick attack went into ways there. I don't know why I did it that order like that. There was no reason to do it that way. I wanted my health low, but I could've... Like, I have an extra turn. So there was no reason to do that. I have no idea why I did it that way. I did that on purpose, too. For some reason, I was thinking I was gonna NP next turn, but I'm not. So I have absolutely no idea why I did that. I may have just screwed myself. Like, in my head, that made sense. And then afterwards, I was like, but I don't have my NP. I mean, I did that because I wanted my health lower to get my attack up. But I would- I could have let my health get lower now, and then I could have saved my protection from arrows. Right? Like, there was no reason to do that. Like, I literally just wasted a ticket of protection from arrows for no reason. I don't think it's gonna matter. Uh, but, but, you know, if this had been harder, it would have mattered. Chat, we- this is like a 45% attack up or something. Oh my god, that did almost the exact same damage as Proto 2. That is so stupid. That, 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 that is so stupid. That was like the- oh, that, 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 that's so dumb. That is so fucking dumb. Feels bad, man. And that, that, it doesn't, you don't, you chat, you don't understand. It doesn't get any better, right? That was pinnacle proto coup because we were fighting a beast, right? Like, it, you, you don't, he doesn't have, there's no other time he has a better chance of keeping up with coup than that. And he was still worse than coup there. And then for the rest of the 99% of the content, he's just light years behind. Now imagine we do that with Baldi. 
That would just be sad. Although, a hundred Baldi might be able to do that. If Cairo was around, I would try it, honestly. It'd be tough. It, you would... That's, that kind of situation, though, that's when you would do K-Scope Baldi, right? And you try to get your taunt... Because your taunts are going to die right away, because the boss actually hits hard enough. Right? And you try to get that first MP, and you want to get a lucky opening hand, where you get, like, Quick Quick or Quick Art. And then you get that second MP from your units dying, like, boom, boom. And then you just immediately go into having double MP. Uh, uh, he, he, he might be able to do it. I don't... I don't think so. I think it's a. I, I think he would just die too soon. Like like Baldi would die too soon because uh, Lobo hits me pretty hard there, and you, the one hit evade is just not enough. So I think he would just die before you got through it. So I mean I don't. Maybe if like a miracle happened, like maybe if, like if you got the best RNG on the planet and Lobo was being a dumbass and like just not you know do lots of quick attacks and no buster attacks and and stuff like that, maybe you could do it with, uh, with, with, with Baldi, but I think his win rate would be like 5% or even worse. And he, it, honestly, it might not even be that. He might not, not even be able to do it, I'm not sure. I wish I could try it, though. Uh, imagine having story replay, right? I could go just go do it right now, but, uh, you know, we don't have that. The Karna would have been good. That's actually, chat, if they ever add story replay, r remind me of that stage. That's an excellent stage for testing things at neutral. Because, like, it's hard enough that you gotta have some, you know, oomph behind you, but you don't have to be, like, Fujino or Ku to beat it, right? Because, you know, Ku had a pretty good bit of extra uh, survival left there, and I didn't even play well, right? So it's like, you gotta be good, but you don't have to be, like, literally bananas. So that's an excellent stage to kind of test units out and stuff, so I, I want to remember that one. And, you, and utility is rewarded there because there's a lot of annoying buffs and, and there's insta-death, so a lot of different units, uh, you know, do differently there. So Enkidu can definitely do it. The only way he would lose is if he got insta-death. That's like the only way he would lose. Uh, you might be able to use Enkidu with a gut CE and just win always, because Enkidu is just so good. Uh, it might depend on your NP rank though. I'm not, like a level 90 NP1, 10th in 10 Enkidu with a gut CE might not be quite enough to do it, but he might be. And he certainly would be at NP2. Like, definitely, definitely. I have Enkidu at level 90, and I would test this, but we don't have story replay. So I can't do that. Which feels bad. I didn't think of it in time. Okay, boys, we'll wrap up there. I might stream it uh, in a little bit. I might do some, like, Genshin Impact or something like that. But uh, I'm only going to stream it in Genshin Impact here and there, because I'm um, until 1.01 drops, right? I'm gonna try to start, to start streaming other games, you know, mix things up, because FGO is, you know, it's not, not in the best way. Although at least we got Epic of Remnant, that'll uh, that'll hold me over for a bit, which is nice. And thank you for hanging out and listening to me bitch about a five-year-old video game that refuses to update itself. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hop to it as, uh... I'm trying to think though, how much, where are we bond-wise? Yeah, we we gotta we gotta spell we we gotta spell to get through. Are there any or do any of the epic of remnants give Herc bond bonus? Because there's the one that gives night classes a bonus. There's one that gives evil a bonus. There's one that gives like casters a bonus. Is there any are any of the are any of the bond bonuses applicable to Herc? Because if you bring him for every single goddamn stage, that would actually be really handy. No, nope, none, no, 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 yeah, okay, well, yeah, Agartha's is female, yeah, 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 yeah. But guys, guys, he, he's got the long hair, right? You, you just, you just trick him, right? You, you, you put him in a dress, uh, everyone's gonna think this is, uh, is a lady, right? It's easy. But alright boys, uh, I'll, uh, I, I can't guarantee I'm gonna stream again, it kinda depends on a few things, but I, I might stream again in like 20-30 minutes. But thanks for hanging out, and peace!